What's up, Greg? Welcome back to another episode of Tech Dan. That's me. I'm Tech Dan. Stands for Tactical. Damnticle. Almost two years ago, I made a video about the TAC line of products. You got the TAC light, the TAC lantern, the TAC light pro, the TAC glasses, the TAC camera, basically this entire line of TAC products that are called TAC products because they're apparently the most tactical versions of those things that you could possibly buy. And while the products were pretty standard as seen on TV stuff, the commercials are really what set it apart from the rest. The commercials, if you don't remember, are all hosted by Nick Bolton, who's a really tough, strong man's man. He's always calling the products military oh, tough even though he wouldn't know what that means because he was never in the military and I've been meaning to do another video about them but I sort of forgot until I saw a TikTok about this product the tack shaver which totally reignited my interest in tack products so uh let's go ahead and look at the tack shaver for a close shave you need to get a razor and lather up for a quick shave on the go you need to settle for an electric but what if you really want both Nick Bolton here with the newest addition to our tactical line. Like I said, they always try to make Nick seem like he's in the army without ever actually saying it. Like right here, he's clearly like going off to war or something, or like he's in some sort of military situation, except I don't know where he's supposed to be. Is he at war with Mars? I don't know. Just in some sort of like extraterrestrial landscape. The Bell and Howell Tax Shaver. Designed with the needs of our military in mind. I like that it's designed with the needs of our military in mind as it shows somebody who is in the military, he's in the Navy, shaving with just a regular razor. Just like, no, this is fine. I can just use this, it's not a big deal. This is what we all use anyway, so. This shot is contradicting the entire commercial. The tax shaver is completely waterproof. In fact, you could even use a tax shaver underwater and still get a great shave. Navy guys. <laughs> Classic Navy guys. I mean, if anyone knows what those Navy guys are up to, it's Nick Bolton. I mean, trust me, he's probably had to deal with a lot of Navy guys in the line of work he's in. We're not gonna say what line of work he's in, but you can probably guess from what he's wearing. But we're not gonna say it because we don't want to... We don't, we don't want to get sued. That's like the weirdest stereotype for Navy guys that I've ever heard also. They're just like always underwater. I mean, I know that the Navy like goes out onto the water. That's like their whole thing. Like they protect the waters or whatever, but I don't think they're always like swimming around underwater. They're not mermaids. Classic Navy guys. Can't breathe air. They have gills and they live underwater and they shave underwater and they have webbed feet. <laughs> Navy, Navy guys. guys. Tax shaver is small and compact so it slips easily into any pocket. That's perfect that it fits in your pocket. That's, I think that's really what makes it tactical, you know? It's sneaky, you can fit it in your pocket, because you never know when you're gonna be like out in battle or like on a secret spy mission and you're just gonna spontaneously grow a beard. It happens to me all the time, as you can probably tell by the way my face looks. To prove it, I'm gonna do something I never do. Shave. And then let's show some really quick shots of me shaving that aren't even long enough for you to actually see if the razor's working and now my face is clean. As you can see, Ugh. Nick Bolton, more like Ned Flames. Now that's what I call military tough. Also, I like that he's supposed to be the epitome of a man's man, and he's like, I'm gonna do something I never do, shave. As if like the toughest guys never shave. Tough guys have beards. But also, please buy this razor, it's meant for tough guys, tough guys like me, tough guys that don't shave. So let's review. Tack Shaver gives you a quick, razor smooth shave. Is that guy okay? <laughs> what the hell is up with that guy? The TikTok that inspired me to make this video is about this part in this commercial. And in the TikTok, I think the dude says that he looks like he's about to murder somebody. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna kill someone? And I gotta say, I definitely agree. I don't know if he's about to murder somebody or he just did. Cause he looks pretty happy, like whatever he was gonna do went well. And now he's like hiding out in the forest until things blow over. And he's also like shaving to change his appearance so that no of the witnesses can identify him and he's like snickering to himself <laughs> you finally did it kevin you finally showed them all who's boss now we're just gonna hide out in the rainforest for a couple months and then move to a country with no extradition laws i also hate that his face is like glistening maybe it's from the rain but it also could be sweat like he just did something really intense that took a heavy toll on him and now he's sort of cracked there's just nothing like it on the market today all right dang well i guess that's the tack shaver i'm actually kind of curious to see how well it works so let's watch a review for it. Oh. What is anything? I think at this rate it's gonna grow faster than I cut it off. Oh. So it it doesn't work at all. Well, I guess old Nick was right, huh? There really is nothing like it on the market today because most shavers work, but this one. This one's for navy guys. 
everybody has a visor in their car. True. But a visor in the wrong place can actually make it harder to see. Technically true. Yes, a visor in the wrong place can make it harder to see. Like for example, if it was right in front of your eyes or only covering the road for some reason, but usually it's at the top of the windshield, which is the right spot for it because that's where the sun is and not where the cars are. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell and Howell. We call it Tack visor. Nick Bolton here driving down a civilian highway in an army vehicle for no reason. This is just the only car that I own. Also, just to really drive home the fact that Nick Bolton's a tough guy, I like that above the windshield it says high intensity noise hearing protection required, but Nick Bolton is wearing nothing of the sort. Our boy Nick doesn't need hearing protection because his ears are what I like to call military tough. The secret is Bell and Howell's light filtering technology. Nothing to see, right? But look again as we hold up our tack visor. Our colorful American eagle is revealed. Oh man, of course it's an American flag with a bald eagle in front of it. I would expect no other image to be shown when you fold down the thing. I can't see anything on this screen. What is supposed to be there? God bless America. Amazing. Think it's a trick? Bring it in, guys. Yes, Nick, I think it's a trick. This whole commercial's gotta be a trick. You're telling me that a piece of Tinted plastic can block the sun. I'm sorry, but technology like that simply does not exist. This has to be a trick, dude. It's all smoke and mirrors. I love that bring it in also. Bring in the TV, guys, and they move it forward like two feet, as if it's a big reveal that they're gonna be using the TV. Can you guess what we're gonna be doing today? No. What, you don't have a, you don't have a guess or anything? No, uh uh. All right, bring in the TV. Well, what the fuck? Well, check out what happens when I show it to these people. Hop in, look at that windshield. Tell me what you see. A blank screen. Just a blank screen. Nothing blank. Go ahead and put down the attack visor and, and take a look again. Whoa, what the? Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> There's a truck coming right for us. What if he flipped down the attack visor and they're, like somehow they're actually on the road now? They're like, what? That's right, you've actually been driving this whole time and you're headed right into oncoming traffic. Whoa, fuck! And I gotta be honest, this seems like a little bit too good to be true. You can't actually see things that weren't like there before, right? Like the American Eagle thing, but lucky for us, I bought a tech visor. So now we're gonna see if I could see more than we could before. All right? All right, let's try it on this guy. You can see me. What? You. You can see me. Who are you? Finally. <laughs> Finally! I'm a real boy! It didn't work. Now, all jokes aside, this is just sunglasses, right? It's basically sunglasses, but instead of being an inch away from your eye, it's like three feet away from your eye. Sunglasses, tack visor. I mean, I guess it's convenient to always have it in your car, but like a lot of people always just keep sunglasses in their car and that's fine too. Has this ever happened to you? You're in a hurry, you're distracted, and then there goes another pair of sunglasses. Yeah, that's happened to me, but only because my ass is so fucking fat. All right, now it's time to talk about the tack bat. These days, everybody has a tactical flashlight. Not true. Couldn't be further from the truth. Nobody has a tactical flashlight. But can your flashlight defend you from attackers? Oh, goddamn. Look at that stance. Maybe this guy does know a thing or two about combat. Can it defend you against attackers? Huh? That's the pose you go into when you're about to get mugged. Stay back! I'm warning you, I've got a tactical flashlight and I'm not afraid to use it, bitch. We call it the Tac Bat. The Tac Bat combines the best features of our super bright lights, but also has the heft and strength of military grade aluminum alloy for the ultimate in personal protection. <laughs> It even does- Oh my god, he is clobbering people with this thing. <laughs> it's literally just a weapon. That's not even a flashlight. I guess that's why it's called the tack bat and not like the tack light that can also hit people. Which actually reminds me, I've been developing my own tactical flashlight in my free time and I think that it's actually could be pretty useful to a lot of people in different normal everyday life situations. It's got a flashlight that can, um, that it's, de it's detached, it's not attached to it. And then the rest of it is just sort of like a deadly weapon. That's a retractable knife that was supposed to retract and instead I just stabbed myself in the head. Let's say you got two bad guys coming at you, right? First you blind them, then you give them a little stab stab, then you give them a little bang bang, 
then you give him a little smack smack. And that's pretty much how you take care of a bad guy. Come and get some bad guys. Bing, 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 bing. Step, step, step. Bell and Howl, specifically the tech people who work at Bell and Howell. If you need any more ideas, just feel free to reach out to me. I got lots more stuff like that. It's pretty easy to come up with, honestly. This flashlight has all the great features you've come to expect. It's 22 times brighter than a regular flashlight. I like that the regular flashlight isn't labeled regular flashlight. It's labeled civilian flashlight. <laughs> Is the tech bat not meant for civilians? We're all civilians here. I'm a civilian. Nick Bolton is a civilian. They're advertising two civilians. I kind of feel like I'm not supposed to have the tack bat now. Like, is this thing too powerful to let normal people have? I don't know. Can be seen up to four nautical miles away. And yes, it also works underwater. It also works underwater. In case you're being attacked by the Navy. And it protects you and your family in two ways. Disorienting would-be attackers with his tactical strobe. Ah, yeah, look at him. He's got the situation under control. Uh, go away! Uh. There's just nothing like it on the market today. Okay, go! Uh, uh, uh. Great job, Annie! Great job, Annie! Kinda wanna save that sound bite and just use it to play whenever I accomplish anything in life. If I could just put like a D sound right before he says Annie. Great, Great job, job Annie. Annie! You know what, I was a little skeptical before that this thing would actually work well against attackers, but after seeing this girl take down this attacker so easily, I gotta be honest, it seems like this thing would absolutely obliterate attackers, especially ones like this guy who just stand still and let you beat them to death while they don't attack you. I think it would honestly work great. It works great against attackers as long as they are not attacking you. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm lost and it's starting to get dark out. Can I please use your phone to call my mom? Hey, oh, great, great job, job Danny. Danny. But wait, order today and we'll even upgrade you to our 12 inch deluxe tack bat. Oh shit. The 12 inch deluxe tack bat's about to make me act up. 12 inches, huh? God damn. In the field, you need every tactical advantage like high-tech sunglasses to enhance your vision. But that's not all. What about your hearing? How high-tech are those sunglasses? In the commercial, the only thing, it just made it seem like you could sit on them and they wouldn't break. I, this dude looks like he's like trying on those colorblind sunglasses for the first time. He's like, whoa, I put on these glasses and there's American flags and bald eagles everywhere. Oh no, and a truck's coming right at me. Nick Bolton here with the newest addition to our tactical line. We call it the TAC Wallet. It's made using the same material the military uses for body armor and flame-resistant clothing. One of the first things I noticed about this commercial is this footage of firemen putting out a fire, and it has this Pond5 logo over it. Pond5 is like a stock footage website, which I'm pretty sure just has watermarks over footage that you haven't purchased yet. Did they not buy this stock footage? This is what fire does to an ordinary wallet. But light a tack wallet on fire, and it just won't burn. That includes whatever you happen to put inside. Shoot it with a hunter's bow, and the arrow just bounces right off. Wait a minute, my wallet can't withstand arrows or fire, and those are two things that I deal with often. Sometimes I have to deal with them both at once when people try to shoot flaming arrows at me. Whoa. Shit. See? This wallet is perfect for me. A man from the Middle Ages trying to protect my kingdom. The weird thing about these commercials is that most commercials try to solve problems that normal people have. These commercials make up problems that nobody has and tries to convince you that you will face these problems and the only way to solve them is with these products. I mean, I guess if it works, it's good marketing, but it just seems a little disingenuous. Everybody got a hamster, but can your hamster handle this? How about this? I didn't think so. Hi, I'm Nick Bolton and uh, you're a little bitch unless you buy the Tack Hamster. Tack Wallet is flatter and thinner, so it fits in any pocket. It even has a zipper compartment for your change, a ring for that all important key, an ID holder and more. Here's something I really love. A rugged carabiner and strap connects your tack wallet to your belt. I don't know why it's so funny to me when he says, here's, here's something, something I, I really, really love. love with a straight face, but he's saying like, I love this so much. This little lanyard that clips onto your belt so that your wallet won't fall out of your pocket. I mean, the whole wallet's good, but this is something I just really love, okay? I can't get over it. This wallet is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now that's what I call military love. That clips to your belt for extra security and even protects your credit cards. There's just nothing like it on the market today. Act now and you- I love at the end of the commercial he says, there's nothing like it on the market today. And then he puts on his helmet and he's in a tank like he's off to battle now. Well, I'm done doing the commercial. It's time to finish this war. Has he been in battle this whole commercial? He's got like the rest of his platoon. It's like, where the fuck is Nick? I think he's in the tank finishing a commercial. Dude, come on, we're getting attacked. All right, chill out guys, one second. There's just nothing like it on the market today. All right, fire. 
Alright guys, well, that's pretty much the end of this video. Now it's time to talk about our sponsor, ExpressVPN. We've been talking about a lot of fake tactical things today, but you guys want to know something that really is tactical? ExpressVPN. Let me tell it like it is for a second, guys. Recently, over a hundred Twitter users had their accounts hacked. Their passwords, email addresses, phone numbers, and even more information were taken from high-profile people like Joe Biden, Elon Musk, and Kanye West. And of course, as more time passes, there's more hackers out there. These attacks are becoming more and more frequent. And hacks like this are happening on other platforms like Yahoo and Adobe, Facebook and Uber. They're getting information like your passwords, your credit card information, your social security number, Important stuff, which is why I use ExpressVPN, the most tactical VPN on the internet. If you don't know, ExpressVPN is an app that sends all of your data through a secure encrypted tunnel so that your data gets to the services you wanna use encrypted so that other people can't snoop on it. It's super easy to use. You can start using it with one click. It hides your valuable information from everyone from like hackers to online advertisers, and even your internet service provider. I love ExpressVPN, I have it on every device. I've got it on my desktop computer, my laptop, and even my phone. You can have it on pretty much everything so you can have peace of mind no matter what device you're using. ExpressVPN has the fastest speeds, 24 seven customer support, and they've been consistently rated the number one VPN by CNET, Wired, and countless others. So if you wanna check it out, then find out how you can get three months for free by clicking the link in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out ExpressVPN. When you guys check out my sponsors, it helps me get more in the future, so I really appreciate it. Plus, I know if you're looking for a VPN, you'll love ExpressVPN. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. Greg is what I call my fan base here on YouTube. It's also a family and it's also an army. We're the fastest growing army on the internet and we're also the most tactical army on the internet. Please don't look that up. Uh, and if you want to join Greg, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time where I go skinny dipping in a volcano. Bye! This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. No. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. So why are you still watching this?